Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You ain't Cartier. Well, uh, don't worry about it. Today we got another reaction video, bro. It's really just that simple. I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on them post notifications. We got Moha shit on the way, bruh. We got Moha shit on the way, bro. It's really just that simple, man. Today, you know what I'm saying? We got G Herbo sentenced three years probation for pleading guilty to wire fraud conspiracy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That sound like a W just off the rip. I mean, it ain't a W. Like, you don't want them laws to be on you at all, but it's better than going to jail for sure. You know what I'm saying? He got kids and shit. And, you know what I mean? Niggas need to still make money, do their thing out here, take care of their families and all that. So that's hard. Uh, but yeah, let's tap into it. Sentenced Thursday in Massachusetts to a three year probation on federal wire fraud. Shout out charges to Gangland. In a conspiracy to use stolen identities to fund private jets, a Jamaican mm. villa designer puppies in the exotic services and lied about and, and other exotic services and lied about it to authorities. G Herbo was ordered mm. to pay restitution and forfeiture as well as a five, uh, $5,500 fine. The sentence marks a win for his defense team who was asked for a probationary period after the music artist pled guilty in the mm. case. The prosecution requested a sentence of one year and one day in prison along with 36 months of supervised release. Hmm. The, sentence, the sentencing come more than three years after the Tribune first reposted Wright had been indicted on conspiracy to commit wire fraud and aggravated identity theft charges. So go back. So wait. So he's just going to be out on probation for three years. Yeah. And that's crazy, y'all. Yeah, they were trying to get Hey, that's out. a win, bro. Shout out to GR, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hope he do his thing. Keep being solid in this music industry. Drop your independent hits. Like, run it up. Run them numbers up, bro. You got a second chance, so run that shit up. That's crazy, though. You know, but, I mean, that's just the life we live in, bro. People using, they scamming to, you know, do vacations and get whips and live a lavish lifestyle. That ain't really far off, for real. We don't know why he did it. You know what I mean? In the day in prison. Yo. Listen, cause when I first and 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 heard the news, I heard that he was like facing five or some shit like that, and I mm. that he took five. Yeah, right. They were saying that he was gonna get five. Yeah, and I was like, finally a rapper gets held accountable. But bro, like <laughs> rappers tripping. and civilians and regular people, bro, like they live by two different rules, right? Right. You said finally what? A rapper would be held accountable, right? Because here's facts. Call him out on that shit, bro. Call him out on that, cause that's wild. There's this narrative that these rappers will do crimes and nothing happens, right? Meaning, like for example, <laughs> a rapper can catch twenty bodies and, and, and shoot ten niggas and get out in ten years, right? And we be like, bro, like, are these niggas like going to the same like the same like legal system that we're going to? Cause these niggas like they do like these heinous crimes. They get like probation, <laughs> get like two years in prison, and come out. They paying the families before they even take the deal though through the courts. Like it's different. It's different when you got some money, you could kind of you can clean up some people. shit. Yo, he was caught in 4K. Like, like it's not even <laughs> like, like he like bro. Like he had to plea out. Like he was caught in 4K stealing them folks money. Was he mm. punching himself or was somebody around him punching and he was just going on the trips with him? Right. Let's get he to that. He his dog with with their credit card. <laughs> <laughs> he he caught him for a him that, nigga, they needed a credit card and he had the money, so he man, got come the on, money. Man, like he got a he got he got yeah, a W I though. I wasn't under I didn't know that they were swiping. I thought that bro just was trying to build his credit. I was paying him full price. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, come on, bro. Like, like, regardless though, right? Like, he's- I like the difference of perspectives right here uh, between these two co-hosts talking because it just shows like one dude, he like, he just showing you what could have happened. You know, like, you know, my friend let me use his credit card. I was trying to help him build his credit. I don't know nothing about what was going on. You feel me? That's a, that's a, a good narrative. Then Flacco, he like, oh, no rappers need to be held accountable. So it's from one extreme to the next. So I guess you find your middle ground. What, what do y'all think, man? Let me know in them comments. Caught. That's, bro, like, that's a crime. That's fraud. That's felony. And this nigga get probation opposed to a regular nigga who gonna do, like, five years for that. 
He, de- he, de- he might he not have been in trouble though. Yeah, he, he might not have never 44. been in trouble. Mm. Yeah, he got what, what would you eight. have him do, Flacco? Yeah, so he got a buck forty-five to pay back, yeah. and he's gonna yeah. get that back yeah. immediately. Exactly. Oh, really? Immediately. So it's, if it's gonna fix that, niggas go to jail because niggas can't pay. True. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you how the shit exactly. really. That's a fact. Niggas go to jail because they can't pay. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Don't got them racks for the lawyers. None. You know what I'm saying? Just doing, just a broke criminal out here. Like, gotta have the, the bread. Got to. So if you can't pay, they gonna get that money out your ass sitting down. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Straight up. Get that money back. Yeah. True. They get it every day that you down, but nigga, you got a restitution like that. Shit. And they can get it in a lump sum. Go ahead. Fuck it. He didn't kill nobody. Trying, it hurt nobody. At, at, at 140, I'm trying was, to see. What can what can what I what I can't do for uh uh community service? <laughs> keep yeah. my bread. Man, what's so what? cold is because the banks gave all them people their money back. Yeah, it's the FDIC. Nigga, it ain't like nobody all, was hurt by it. They gave them all their money back. Wait, mm. so wait, so then who is he giving back the the to the, the government the oh, wow. back to the financial service that that, yeah, that had to pay? Because all them people gave all that money back, so mm. they need to go get the money so that everybody can get their bread back. Mm. Man, fuck the banks, bro. <laughs> but st- straight yo, up, bro, oh damn, bro! The bank See, gave you your yeah. money back. Let's say, for instance, if you went and you filed, you say, "Man, there was fraud on your account." Whether it's ten thousand, fifteen thousand, you call your bank, you let your bank know that you did not make that purchase. Yeah. That was not you. You're not even in the city that it happened. You're not even nowhere near it. They're gonna say, "Okay, they're gonna open up investigation. They're gonna give you your money back. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're gonna give you your money back, right. and then they're gonna go after wherever the fuck yeah, that shit happened." They're gonna, they gonna right. press charges when they find out who when they it. find out who it was. And they said, "They said that we're gonna press." You know what it's mean? pretty much how it works, Flacco. If you're mm-hmm. involved with it, you gotta. We're gonna, nigga. You get your money back. I get what you're saying. Them. You're yes. like, well, fuck that. I still want to know who took the money <laughs> yeah, from me too. Yeah, of course. But. The bank will make sure that that's really not your concern. You don't have to worry about yeah, that. Hey. So your Shout money will be back in your account with a new card, with all that. Everything yeah. changed up, and you ain't got to worry about it. Shout out, shout out to Yeah, most banks can insure up to 250000 of your money, too. Just FYI. His defense team. Bro. Yeah, bro. Because like, they got a big W. Defense team. He ain't, he ain't doing it? no time. Yeah, yeah, bro, because, oh, bro, because, because, I'm real. real. But really, I feel like it's because they know he's going to pay that money back. I guarantee you, he didn't shot them their money already, at least half of it. Mm. It yeah. was like, here, I got half, and I'm scheduled to pay the other half this day. Let's be real, though. Three three years probation. She Okay, y'all want to really They damn near, they, they, you, you would think they ain't almost no. paying half shit that's if he went to, if he went to trial. That's the shoe coming down, mm. right? See, so, yes. G Herbo got out of this situation. Everything's cool for him. But the other shoe coming down is they're hoping for him to fuck up again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They want that's him to fact. fuck up. That's that's giving them niggas some leash. Here, nigga, go play. Think that it, everything's okay. Because mm-hmm. when you fuck up again, we're going to open all this shit back up. Plus, you're going to go sit down for three years. For the not original. to mention, we're going to get you on this new case. For the original time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to get you for the original time already. Really? You're going indefinitely. But you got a whole new case to fight. Really? They got him pissing. Once a week, twice a week, now and all that, like, you gotta call that motherfucking number every day. They in your business now. They want you to piss with the federal probation shit. <laughs> and what sucks is yeah, because every morning see they'll like that. for shit like this, right? And I don't know if he got a felony from it. If he had uh, drug court, uh, I'm pretty sure that that was a felony. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? So he had got an F from it. So I think like this. Now he's now he's got a felony. Damn. That makes it worse. That's mm-hmm. what makes you look bad when you go back to court for some fucked up shit because they look how you already got an F. Now they're going to try to even hang you a little bit more. Them point system. They're going to try to hang him a little yep. bit more. So they're hoping that he fucks up. And with that what shit, is probation, white collar, though? probation coming to your house. They're going to serve. They're going to come to your house that once shit, a month. White collar crime. Yeah. yeah. That shit like a, not, it's just a, it's a nonviolent felony. So it ain't. Mm. Really, uh, you know I mean? I've had, I got a non-violent felony, felony yeah, so yeah, I know man, what man. that shit comes about. And mm-hmm. I'll tell you this, they gonna come to that nigga house once a month and they gonna pop up whenever they want to just to come see what he's doing. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. For the next three years, that's what he's getting. Go fuck probation. For the next three years, that's what you getting. All yeah, men yeah. right in your house. He wasn't gonna skip the probation, no way. Facts. Facts. He did a year in the day, he still had three years probation. He still so had 36 shit. months, yeah, he yeah. had to still be on paper. Yeah. And yeah. him as a rapper though, bro, is damn near impossible, bro. Like, 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 for example, right now, like, you have to drive now with no guns around, like, no weed around. Nah, you can have your security. 
No, right. But he's a... He could have a gun. No, right. But like he's a rapper who, who like don't really like have like... This my me? black truck, you niggas getting that black truck. Mm. That's why you see up. niggas riding two different yeah, cars. Like, y'all niggas go over there with that shit. You follow behind this. You can drive. Drive your shit. <laughs> Not getting there with you, nigga. Hey, man, uh, what y'all think about that? Let me know in them comments, bro. Start up that dialogue, bro. I personally think it's a W kind of because, like, all right, bro, you ain't got to sit down in that slammer. Like, that's a win, but also being on them papers is not, like, easy peasy, come with piss tests, invasion of privacy, like, the whole, you feel me, the whole thing. So, you know, but it is fortunate he get to be out with his family, different things like that. He can make money. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, what y'all think? W or L? Let me know in them comments. You and Cartier will.